Well, hello there, and welcome back to Wet Lines. You join me, Ian Baker, once again on another 48 hour session. There's a big fish. See so you on this session down at Cottington Lakes, down in Deal in Kent. Fished this venue twice before, but not for a very long time. And I'm not saying I'm a good carp angler now, but I was a lot more novicey last time I was here, so I'm not sure why I've not been here for so long because it looks amazing. New Pepper Lake, if you've been here before, or you're looking to research it, that's where I'm at. I'm on swim number 15. That's what we're working with. Much like my last session, it is stupidly hot again. Sun's not out at the minute, but it's about 30 degrees. Only meant to get warmer tomorrow. I've got me two rods out at the minute. Got one pretty much where that duck is, if you can see that. That's on the bottom. I uh, led it about over there, it's a bit of a clear, rocky little, not rocky, but you know, quite clear spot. So we've chucked about five or six small little spots over there, and we're starting off with just a nice little yellow pop up just to see if we'll go on. And then the other rod we've just put out in open water on a zig rig. But if you've not used one before, I'm using the new Tracker adjustable zig rig system. It's pretty nifty. I'll talk to you about that later if uh, we get any success off of that. But oh yeah, it's hot. Yeah, that's the lie of the land. Swim 15, New Pepper Lake, Cottonton's Lakes. Sounds obvious, but I really do hope I catch because I know from watching, uh, looking on YouTube, looking on websites, there are some big fish in here, some definite PB material. Still haven't caught a 40, but I can nab a 40 out here. Whew. I will be delighted, but I'm, I can already tell I'm coming back to this venue again. I don't know why I've not been here for so long. Because look at it, it's perfect. That's me, that's the lake. I'm going to sit there, I'm going to watch that, and I'm going to catch a fish. So stay tuned, and uh, keep you updated in a bit. Okay, so it's day one. Oh, a bit dark here. Am I a bit dark here? Deal with it. Day one. It's the only shady bit I can be in. It's pretty hot today. Maybe about 30 odd degrees. It's a bit peak. Anyway, it's about two in the afternoon. We've not had anything yet. As I said, I got my first rod. Where I'll be on here. In that little situation there. And the other rod was kind of middle-ish, where the shadow of that tree kind of falls. But, we're going to go for some, some changes. see quite a few fish opposite me in a certain bit. It's not technically my swim, but the guy that's fishing there, he's not using it. I'm going there. Happy day. So we're going to put an IQD rig in there. Maybe it's five to ten single boilies. It's free with. The next approach we're going to go for, because there's only a two rod rule here, we're going to get the surface rod out because it's getting a bit warm. And I walked down yonder margin, down here where it curves around, and at the end of this bush here, there's a little bit I could walk in and have a little peekaboo in there. And I see a fair few fish just in there chilling. So what I'm planning on doing is from here, see them like cast my surface rig down there in the old quarter bike bolt controller thing. Walk around there, a couple of biscuits, see if we can get one down there. Because as you can see on this video here, I see that mirror carp down there. And it looks a chunky little fella. So, that's the plan of attack. We're going to put one on the bottom over there. And we're going to try a bit of surface fishing down, down yonder margin. I've seen a fair few, I've read a fair few videos, I've read a fair few bits about this lake that surface fishing can work, it's just can you get through the birds? Well I'm going to get through the birds. So stay tuned and uh, fingers crossed I can get on a fish. If, it, if it's one anytime soon it'll probably be that surface down there because surface fishing can be a bit of a quicker way of doing it than, than on the bottom. So stick around for updates. See you in a bit. Fish number one off the top here, we've got a mirror, haven't weighed it yet, we're going to try and pick it up. Bit of a unit. My first fish at Cottington. Not a 
bad way to start. Oh dear, boy! Hold up. Oh, it's been a while since I've held one this big. It's going to go again. Now it's been down. All right, we'll show that again in a minute. Let's have a little way. It's the most important bit. For all the dubious viewers, see it's been zero. It will take the weight off of that. That was with a wet sling. What's your pay bay? Just trying to think. Oh, 36 and a half for a mirror. Not sure that's quite there. Might be in around the same area. Whew. I'll let you call it because I'm not going to be able to hold it and look, look at this. <laughs> That looks 36 and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, is what yeah, it is. 36 and a quarter, mate. We're happy with that still, I don't care. You know, it's a quarter under my PV, but... Still a good fish, mate. Not bad for session one. Hello, mate. Beautiful. Thank you again. Oh, I tell you what, people, I'm absolutely buzzing. I've worked all day standing out in that heat trying to get a fish on top. To come to now, that would have been about 4 pm probably by the time I caught that one. Oh, I'm buzzing. 36 and a quarter, 36 and a quarter pounds. Mirror, mate. First fish at Cottington. That is not a bad way to start. And I'm 99% sure I watched that fish earlier and took a little video of it because it was just down the margin. I walked down there to have a little look, see what was going on down there. Have a look at this little clip here. I'm pretty sure that's the same fish that I see down there. So I chucked the old uh, surface rig down there. Couple biscuits, not too many because I didn't want the birds knowing about it. And we have secured ourselves an absolute beauty. Not quite a PB. Uh, and it, I, I just do not care. That made my whole day's effort worth it. All on this little right bad boy here, we've got the little surface one. And I don't, I don't know if it was that long before or whether it stretched it, but, but there we go. That little size 12 hook got me that 36 pound fish. So as I said, it is now dead on 5 p.m. So I've got only one rod in the water at a minute it's a two rod rule here. I don't know how that extends to two rods in the water on one surface. I don't know. But I've only had the one in. So we're going to have a little look round. See if I can find another fish knocking about. See if we can get myself another. So anyway, let's stay tuned see if there's any more fish in a bit. I've just got the rods out, both the bottom baits, ready for the evening. So we'll talk you through what the plan of attack is. So, one rod I've put roughly where I caught the fish on top, which is, well, I couldn't quite get to the same spot again. It was a magical cast last time, but down this left margin and right a little bit, there's some reeds. We'll just put it in front of that. That's got a little pop up on, a little Ronnie rig. What's it got on it? Couldn't tell you. Pop up with a little pop up corn on top of it. Looks pretty. Second one, I'll show you in a minute, there's literally a tree literally here on my swim. 
on two separate occasions. Let's give it some pan out action. On two separate occasions on this trip. Where that duck is. There's been individually, not two at the same time, but two fish. Swim right along the margin, right along these reed edges. Go under that tree and then they both nose dive down past that tree. So if two fish are following that route, I'd like to think maybe a third will or they'll be back. So literally just underneath this tree here. That's where I put the uh, second one, which as you can see, is literally... Well, as you can see, that is literally right by my rod. So that, a couple of boilies out there, ready to roll, I'll say. The carp I've seen is swimming, literally following this route, and the nose dive down underneath that side. That's where rod number two goes, and rod number one, so down this margin, this is where I caught the other fish. I had it on the surface, just in front of these reeds here. So that's where I put my bottom bait there. Again, eight to ten freebie boilies on that spot as well. So that's me set for the evening. Fingers crossed I can get one overnight, that'd be nice. I actually would be very happy if I do get a fish on the bottom. Obviously, catching on the surface is my favourite. But I do think that there's a bit more angling and skill to catching a fish actually on on a rig on the, on the bottom. Not to say surface fishing is easy, it took me all day to get that one fish. And uh, I'm feeling the effects. Got a little bit burnt, a little bit tired, but I'm buzzing. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new around here. I'm going to sit in my chair right here and enjoy this view. Wait for one of them rods to scream off because if, if either of them do, it's going to be a problem. Because that right one's going to bend off something chronic, the left one's going to go off something chronic, and I'm going to need to get the rods rather sharpish. So until it's dark, and maybe even after, I'm going to be sitting right here waiting. So you stay tuned, and we'll see what happens in a bit. Fish number two. Flipping beautiful common. Look at this bad boy, I haven't weighed it obviously. Oh. Not a bad one is it? I'll have a little weigh up in a minute, but that. It's 
got to be a low 20 or high teen, I'd say, but I've been known to be very wrong these days. Finishes all good. I think that's about 26. See if you can see on that. I think it's about 26. Try one more time. Yep. 26. Happy days. Fish number three. Oy. There we go. Beautiful number three. Probably the best looking one. Decent scales. We'll have a little way. What do you reckon? 18? 17? Bang on 24, mate. 24? Yeah. Happy day. Again, Sarah judge these fish really badly. <laughs> Radio people. It's just coming up to 11 a.m. on my last morning. Gotta get off here lunchtime-ish. <sighs> it's been hard work this session. All on the surface. Been having them going all morning. Some absolute units out there, but just ain't got into any, any more. And I've run out of dog mixers now, so it's probably more unlikely that I'll get another one. But it has been an awesome first session here at Cartington on the new Pepper Lake. Can't complain. A 24, a 26, and a 36. Whew. We'll take them stats any day out of the week. Considering I was told by numerous people here that are very much regulars down here that Swim 15 where I am is widely known as the worst swim on the lake. I don't know what for. Obviously catching fish, but like, I don't know why. But it's the worst one, but I've caught three fish. I'll take that. Don't know if there's gonna be any more, as I said, because all my other bottom butt rods, I brought them in to get them out of the way. Just been out there on the surface. Been having them going since about eight, it's now 11. Got two fish, but I've run out of mixers now. I got through three bags of that stuff. So I can't really bring them back now. So whilst my swim is in the Shard Noir, I might just quickly pack up in readiness. Is he on a fish over there? Or is he, what's he doing? No, he's not playing a fish. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. It's been hard work, but very happy with my first session here. And let me tell you now, we'll 100% be fishing this lake a heck of a lot more. As soon as I turned up here, Walked around, saw the swims, I was like, yes, that's a bit of me. Been to some other venues recently that you've not seen on video because, let's face it, I turned up at certain places and was like, don't like it here, and proceeded to not complete my 48 hours and did maybe a day and went home because some of these places are just not nice. This place, this place is ticking every box, every box apart from one. The only negative is you have got to drive, realistically. We'll go for a very long walk to go to the toilet. If you can go over that, which I did, just bring the rods in and go to the toilet. But anyway, getting sidetracked. So if you want to see me, I know Tony's definitely going to want to be getting down here now that I've told him what's been going on. If you want to continue watching me, Tony, Wet Lions, down at Cottington, almost certainly on New Pepper and Old Pepper, hit that subscribe button and stick around. Me and Tony both need to get a 40, and I think this is going to be the place for it. If you want to see that, hit that subscribe button, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Until next time, keep those lines wet. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.